Hello and welcome to Rain and Rain Enthusiast and a continuation of our series of the top 10 least used stations in Warwickshire. And today I'm at a pretty new station for a least used station. Welcome to Bermuda Park. And you can find the station on the Coventry to Nuneaton line, also known as the Elephant and Bear line, between Bedworth and Nuneaton. Bermuda Park was opened in 2016 and mainly serves the nearby expanding industrial estate. Although funding for the project was approved in 2011, work didn't start until 2014, with the station opening two years later. It is located around one and a half miles between Bedford and Nuneaton. Although no station was on this site previously, Chilvers Cotton Station was around half a mile to the north, but this was closed in 1965. Right, so we'll start off our little tour of this uh, new station uh, at platform one. I'll uh, just come up those ramps, but I'll uh, do that in a moment. So over there, platform two, quite obviously. And here, a very good sight line down there. If I move up to the end of the platform, you'll see even better. There is some freight that comes through here. This is another one. And that's quite a good sight line, as you can see, going round that curve. Very good indeed. The station was put here, as I've probably said in the history, to uh, facilitate the grow, ever-growing Bermuda Park industrial estate, which is over there. The platforms can accommodate four car trains. As we move across, you'll see there's a small seating area here. An information board. And yet another one there. And if we carry on down, you're going to come to a waiting shelter. Before that, I don't know how good that comes up on film because it's a very nice and sunny day. And these are one of those new LED style information boards. I think they're excellent. There's a bin there, accessibility ramp, and obviously a very new waiting shelter. You wouldn't expect anything less from a fairly new station. Of course, you've got the help point, and then the way out, which is the stairs. And actually, that's what I'm going to take down and have a couple of information boards. But uh, instead of taking the ramp down, let's take the stairs down to road level. And at the bottom of these stairs, you've got another, yes, another information board. They do a lot of information boards. Another one here, which includes your onward travel information board. It's normal at most stations. And because there's no real station building, you'll also find the ticket machine here. Again, another information board. That's quite a traditional little sign there. I don't think that's original to the station. But if you want to get through, you go underneath here, which, and that is not a brand new bridge. That's obviously been here for quite a while. There's a footpath that leads down there. I'll investigate that in a moment. See if it goes anywhere. Underneath, tells you that platform one's over there. Obviously we're going now underneath to platform two. Stairs and ramp. CCTV everywhere. And uh, so let's have a look at what I would imagine is a very similar platform too. Let's go up the ramp. There you go, quite an extensive ramp system there. Um, if you're self-propelling yourself, that's going to take quite a while. It's not a huge incline, but you're certainly going to feel puffed out by the time you get up here. But it's accessible nonetheless, so that's good. Uh, not such a good view of the curve at this point, but you wouldn't expect that. But great views down there. Straight as a die line, fantastic. And as I thought, not really much different on this side. I mean, you can see the industrial area from over here pretty well, but uh, 
if we slowly walk along here, I don't think there's any surprises. One thing I would say is it's not your typical uh, cookie cutter station. It is just literally a couple of platforms served by two ramps and some stairs, which serves the business park around here. Some more information boards and mirroring the other side, apart from I think the help point, but I might be wrong. You've got another one of them LED style displays, very, very good. Uh, is there a help point this side? Be interesting. There's certainly a ramp here, which is a good. I can't see a help point unless there was one downstairs I missed. There's your uh, waiting shelter with induction loop. Oh, there's the help point. There we go. At the top of the stairs. It would be nice to see a help point at the end of the ramp as well for uh, those disabled passengers who probably need assistance. I mean, otherwise they've got to come all the way along here uh, to the top of the stairs for the help point. Um, and that's the same the other side, actually, to be fair. So, yeah, I think possibly a, another help point on the other side, just a suggestion for those coming up, because they're obviously the people who may need assistance boarding the train. So, there you go. Uh, there you are. Um, and again, very good sight line down there. Let's have a look, look at that. And uh, yeah, not bad for a brand new station. It fits It fits the uh, brand new station remit perfectly. It's, it's fully accessible. It's clean, it's tidy. And I'm sure on a day other today, which again is a day after a strike day. So there's a, a bus replacement service going along here. This is part of the Elephant and Bear line where I've, uh, I've visited that previously on this uh, top 10 Warwickshire stations. And unfortunately today there's no there's no rolling stock for me to see. Uh, I do tend to do that when I go on my trips. I tend to really pick the days, but uh, not much I can do about that. I have to be done in advance. Anyway, enough of me waffling on. You want to see the station? Yes, it's very nice. Just as you go onto the ramp up to platform one, you will see this plaque. Now, I don't know how well it's coming out on film. I'll try and get that in because it's not very clean, but it does give you a little look into who constructed it. It's quite well hidden away and it could do with a clean. Uh, very easy to miss as well if you're just quickly walking up these stairs. So, and so I hope that's coming out on video and uh, at least that's something that's a little bit interesting at this station. A nice touch below that is this platform marker, which has also got braille on it, telling you that that is the way to platform one. That's a very nice touch. And as a note, I did walk along this path. I thought it was gonna to come to a very, very nice area near a canal or something, uh, but it didn't really. <laughs> so it's just a way of getting to some of the housing estates and other areas around here. Nonetheless, at least it's still in place. The statistics for Bermuda Park are that it opened in 2016. It currently, at time of filming, has one train per hour in each direction, but services do start later on a Sunday. And the entry and exit figures for 2022-2023 were 21,942. Bermuda Park isn't one of your typical new stations on the network, but it is this new station and those are always to be welcomed. The sight lines up and down the line here are absolutely fantastic and on a day where there is a little bit of freight, some excellent photography and videography could be obtained. I really like it, it serves the business park and that's what it's here for. The station is on a bus route but there's not really a big provision for parking. That's not a bad thing, but it just means that it's limited to the amount of people who it serves. If you've enjoyed this video, then please like, comment and subscribe. And if you can, get out there, get on the railway and see where it takes you. Thanks very much for watching.